All right, guys. Um, still got a big tank from Double South, and we'll see the role of our CSS matter the goal you know the B. So for this story, I want to show you now how and within the CSS float property they all about. So if you look my code here now, so I already created these two divs where you see here now. So so this first div now I give a class one. This is on a I give a class two. So if you look my CSS styling, I just say okay, made the div now, made it be perfect square now so the width be 300 pixel why the height now 300 pixel then for this class now they'll say are they make them unique now with the class name but it's okay i want this one may the background color be red and the two may the background color be green so if i go my um browser if i refresh and i show you see with the way it's in the bin now mm -hmm. so what did the css flow there post the two be said it they help us now eh? the position all these our elements go on side <laughs> it therefore the position is our elements now for the browser and make it just shift a mental either the left or the right. But that's not what the CSS flows deal about now. Again, when put that one show now. Now you know say normally eh, for our HTML, eh, you get the flow where all our elements you take. You get if I create so kind of stuff here now, so I say everything now eh, by default it did the left hand side. So if I put both in paragraph and the rest and all of them now they go the the left hand side now you get so at that is for block elements now uh, they go do the left hand side. So if I create one um div here now so as a style and so you see I say the next one uh, the flow be say go the under this div you see now. so if I create button now might just go on to me see now. if I come here and I say okay my create button mm -hmm. my create button i just give him a click me click me so you see now since the flow you see it always a drop on the next line but also there be block elements you see so after this one now the next one now it's under this guy the next one under this guy so now the normal flow eh, where html now they follow you get so with this flow to go do now so eh, it go allow us position any element what we specify for the CSS now to the area where we're there. So, might just do it quickly. If I come this way now, say I shift on now, I say um, um, float now. I float on to the right. You see the apple now. It all flows the red come the right now. Then this green now, it all shift go up. So, it's that one we say. If we float this guy now, so eh, as we float on now, it commands the normal flow where all the HTML elements they follow. It commands the flow. So when it commands the flow now, the next element will be like say it did after and I go go collect the position. Now this green zone now. So as this red commands now, it can go collect the position. But if I float and I go the left, just to the happen. If I float and come the left now, it is what it happen now. The green now eh, it did back of this red. What is that one? We say, I don't kind of come up for the flow web like say HTML no, and the flow web like say supposed to follow. So, even though say they did the left now, you know, they did the normal flow where HTML is supposed to follow. So, this green now, you see, they it back. You get the green, I don't go see the green, I see the collective position, I did the back. So, if you want, make it be say as I see the floater now, even say maybe like you float and go the right now, I can go back now. Um, right. Say you float them as you float on this place now. So say this way they they here now. You don't want to make anybody or any element now. You know me any element collect his space now. You know me they collect his space now. What you go do now? Eh? You go use on property where they call clear. So what you go do? You come um this second one now. So eh? you come and you say clear. I think are they right now? Float now. So clear right. You see now. So now I'm like, clear and so eh? what did happen here? see as I float this guy now, so eh? that clear property is also okay. Even though you float and it come off for a position, not allow any other elements now eh? make it take over that position. Now I'm say, even though I create another element now, it must drop come down. So thing where you need to understand here, see what did this float the opposite do now? So the flows the opposite um they move our elements now. Come on for the normal position where we want to be, which is this left now. The camera come the right here. You see, if he can come the the right, or if he can come back to the left. But if he can come the left now, based on say that commands the flow now, 
any element where don't down now go go, go collect the position. So if you not make a collect position at that next element where the full now, what you go to be say you go your CSS now, then you go specify this clear property. This here. So when you say clear, it must be right based on say the flows now are right now you float onto this here. So if I change to left now, if I change to left, it's not say float can left. The clear not the work. Why? Because this right and not the conversion with, with, to this left. So the moment we, we flow this one to left now, we need to make sure say the next element of the flow over now. We need to clear now to the left too. You see? So if I clear to the left now, you see say the gather the shoe for the button now. So then one of the quick things where you need to understand about the float property. Then another thing where you need to know be say this flow property now so here, we feel is an idea wrap text around image. I'll do it quickly now. It's going to be say I'll come here now. I might just clear this guy because I don't need them again. I'll clear this ones. Smart type the code sharp sharp. So see the visitor this did now we get this image. I don't get um I create one for the assets. See I'm create one for the assets. So you said this assets folder now. I put one logo for there and I want CSS logo. So I'll come here now, target that assets now. I go see assets slash logo dot png. Then I'll come here for paragraph. I just type logo m three hundred maybe just make it small. This yeah. So now if I refresh now, I see what it's in B now. You see now? So now, these are the first elements now where you see so, which is this uh, image. Then, under now, this paragraph now, they appear. You see now? Under now, this paragraph, they appear. So, if I come this place now, I target the image. Hmm? If I come here now, I target the image, I cause okay, my floater to the left. You see and say, the normal flow now, so this image now called come the normal flow where HTML know, which is after this one, the next block element that go follow this guy. So if I refresh on I say, say it don't come the normal flow. This guy now, it is try to enter a normal, enter this guy position now. They try to enter this guy position. So if I want to wrap him around, get out of say this div now. I will just come here now. I'll just say div. Then, um, mass change width. So I'll make the width of the div, div be like 500 pixel. So if I don't like this now, you see now, it all wrap around this image now. You see, it all wrap around this image. So if you just do some kind of small, nice styling, we're going to make a final couple like, of those kind of articles like so we see for inside newspaper magazine now. So if I come in and see my background color now, uh, I'm going give an ashes now, ash, see, see, see. see yeah. So they happen now. So I put padding now. I'll say padding. Make the padding be like 15 pixel. So that the space go plenty. This see now. See space around that now. Go plenty small. Then this guy now wants to shift the mass. So there I go to be saying I'll just I feel his padding, I feel his margin, but major is margin. So I'll go use margin. I'll get the margin like 10 pixel. Then major style the paragraph small. So that's what paragraph is say I'm going to increase the font size now. So make the font size now. Eh? Make the font size, make it be 16 pixel. Then I go change the font family. Make the font family be like um, my mother. Then font width. So this font width now, and I go make them bold. A lot of can be found now. The font width I'm going to put, I'll say 600. And put my semicolon. You see, now. It takes to plant the model is more commodity. Or delete and reshare. So it happen now. She is here now. So I might give a small line height. Line height of like 22 pixel. If I had to. My share is out of 400. That's too bold. So it's really happen now. The line. You know when I show. What did it do today? 26. Uh -huh. You listen. Uh? So now the thing of fine small now they get even though so this side now black get control now. It's going to be say I'll come here now. Go see um uh no, text align, text align, text align now. Be justify. So when you say when you say text align justify now, what you got to see? All this control where this for you now, so uh, you got come out now. You see how? Uh? It don't clear and all it all stretch for you. So now the floats now, now the airport is easy. Once again, I really suppose go do this. If it floats to the right now, if it floats to the left now, by default, 20 d and I go float and come here. So if I want to float this full div now, if it come here now, self, eh, I'll come here and say, my floats the whole div, my floats are go the right. 
we'll see you see anna i don't float and come the right now so now i float and come the right now if he put another thing for this piece now you get and the other people for this piece now that the guy will be like the floor now i feel like i come here or if i don't want to make the guy enter here now that guy now i'll call clear up she is saying i'll call clear up so maybe i go on that div now we'll be like some art or kind of article put now so i call this div uh, my given class class and sorry type now ah. i'll call this class um my guy so I'll come in and I'll say dot my guy and I go say maybe may the width be six hundred pixel. No, man is so the mass maybe the width be four hundred pixel. Then maybe the height be six hundred pixel. Then maybe the color be yellow now. That is background color now. Background color, maybe yellow. That did you? My guy, Div. Div. My guy. Okay. Okay. Can you imagine? I'm not doing that for you. See, this is the apple now. So, now, eh? It is float come the right, so you know why? Because he would the target div now make the float come right. So if he come here now, so I'll target just this one now. Say no, make it remain for the left. You get maybe for the left now. I did see here now. They get so this one uh, as if I float this guy, this guy is supposed to be under now. He don't collect the position for the flow now it don't collect the position now for the HMA flow so if i don't make collect position what i'll do i'll come here now i'll call say okay since i declare since i flows that guy go the right now my clear this guy now my clear and come the right too so if i clear now it go do what i do but you know go to collect this guy position again you see now so then i will see css flows all about you get and i know say when i know if you just master and i want to practice so i go sit on and i'm on the practice if you know that size the apple now just enter the comment section now may you comment and may you ask question you know the be and like the video subscribe and still spread the good news because nobody you could learn how to do web design and design website you know the be now so i see me a guy big time for the, from the double south and the next tutorial i go see you now again thank you